On Wednesday, the Federal Reserve once again decided not to raise interest rates. It's like we're Charlie Brown and the Fed is Lucy pulling the rate hike football away. The difference is, is the Fed is dying to raise rates. They know they're hurting pensions. They know that they'll have very little left in the policy toolbox if the economy slows with rates so low. But there's still too many signs of economic weakness as well as uncertainty over the Brexit vote. Think of how many times, though, you've heard politicians say, just elect me and we'll create jobs and economic growth. And we've had record low rates, hundreds of billions in quantitative easing, trillions in government borrowing. And what's happened? The worst post-recession recovery in history. I know. Who cares? Certainly no one who thinks the world revolves around politics. But it does beg a question, one relating to the biggest political scam going, a scam that virtually guarantees the mediocrity at best of our recovery. If we just give government more power, more money, and the jobs and economic growth will follow. So here's the question that I've yet to hear a single person in the media ask ever. If governments can create jobs and economic growth, as every big government politician continually promises, then why haven't they in France, the U.S., oh gosh, Venezuela, Alberta, Spain, Italy? It's an absolute joke to suggest the problem is not enough government. Really? 82 handouts for Bombardier, and the government says maybe that's not enough. Governments throughout the West, including Canada, peddle the same policies, more borrowing, more intervention, record low rates, central bank bond buying. What the Federal Reserve did this week is remind us it's not working. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.